The type of resonance which causes the Hutchinson effect and related effects can be explained by looking at how the frequencies compare to the molecular and atomic structure of the material itself. This phenomenon is only observed while using ultra-high frequency and incredibly high frequency Tesla waves. Why? Because they correspond to the frequency of the distance in the atoms in the structure. The distance between the atoms in a structure is equal to the wavelength, which will resonate that structure. Once you find the resonant frequency with the Tesla waves, you have effectively trapped and aligned the atoms. You can now tune the frequency a tiny bit higher, causing diamagnetism by squeezing the atoms together, restricting the electron orbits, which causes a north pole and a south pole, artificially induced to diamagnetism, which causes levitation. If you lower the frequency, it pulls the atoms apart a tiny bit, which causes a phase change of matter where a solid starts behaving like a liquid due to the strong electromagnetic forces resonating within it. This is the force that pulls aluminum bars apart and turns them into rubber spaghetti. This is the force that levitates 70-pound cannonballs. It's electromagnetic force, not a new force, nothing 